link budget. The link budget is an important step in wireless bridge design or outdoor meshing. You need to make sure that you stay within the legal transmit power and that your link performs as expected even when conditions may change. To do this, you account for all RF gains and losses throughout the entire link with a minimum RSSI goal defined. This goal of signal strength is the absolute minimum objective for the link to function as required. To calculate your link budget, you must account for the transmit power, cable and connector loss on both the transmit and receive sides of the communication, antenna gain for both the transmit and receive, path loss, and any other gains or losses in the system. When planning a link budget, there are some additional factors to be considered. We're only going to briefly describe some of these as they go beyond the scope of this course. Antenna height. This is based on the distance the signal needs to travel and the height of structures to which the antennas will be mounted. It's to overcome any blockage uh, between the antennas. Line of RF sight, or the Fresnel zone, which ensures the outdoor wireless point-to-point -point connections do not have any natural or man-made obstructions that would cause the link to have problems with stability. For now, zones are beyond the scope of this class, but they represent in the 3D space between the two devices of which at least 60% of the zone should be free from any obstructions. If you do not have at least 60% free, then the link is deemed possibly unusable. Fade margin. Fade margin is an additional signal strength above the required link budget to account for expected but unpredictable signal fading due to environmental conditions. Earth bulge. If the distance of the link is greater than 7 miles or 11 kilometers, you're going to have to take into account the curvature of the earth, not just trees and trucks and other buildings that could be in the way, but the actual curve of the earth. Once the link is installed in the environment, you can determine the actual margin for the link called the system operating margin. The fade margin is the planned margin for the link while the system operating margin is the actual margin. Performing a link budget. Here you can see a sample of the information needed in calculating a link budget. We have defined our minimal goal for this bridge and link to have factored in a negative 15 dB fade margin as we begin with a transmit power of 26 dBm. Once we introduce the transmit cable and connectors and all the loss, we would then be at 23 dBm. The transmit antenna adds 15 dBi gain, taking us to 38 dBm. Free space path loss being our largest loss in every communication is at minus 104 dBm, which takes us to negative 66 dBm. The receive antenna has a gain of 12 dBi. That takes us to a negative 54 dBm. Once our receive signal traverses the receive side cables and connectors, we lose another 3 dB for a received signal strength level of negative 57 dBm, which is a very usable signal strength given that location tracking would work at negative 62. Now these power levels may or may not be legal within a given regulatory domain. This is just an example of how to calculate the budget. So any link you create still has to operate within the legal transmit powers and frequencies set up by the regulatory domain in which you are deploying your bridge. Online RF calculators. I mentioned these earlier that you could use these. There are many of them online that you can use for free. So you can put in things like distance between the antennas, what you want for your fade margin. Lots of tools have even antenna maximum dimensions and distance to obstructions and things you can add in there. You can find lots of calculators online for things like path loss and the Fresnel zone clearance, 
lots of these factors you can calculate with things and it's really uh, very important for bridging and meshing more so than an indoor network. Music.